Hello, all you wonderful people! Buddy Infos here with a new GTA 5 100% walkthrough episode. Today we have two missions, guys. Two missions to do. The first one takes like two minutes to complete. It's right behind me. As you can see, they're having some dispute, some heated dispute with my dude, my bro. Let me take a closer look. Yeah, basically, this is Rocco from the Battle of Gay Tony and he's um, trying to do something to my boss, my lovely boss. So what you do here is so you have to just complete it fast, for gold. That's it, that's the whole mission. You just have to complete it fast for a gold medal, so let's do just that. Fucking old jackass on me, please! Big man! We had a deal! We had paperwork! Hey! Fuck off, Johnny! Hey, you're a couple real badasses with a beat down on an old man. Yeah, we don't take that. We have a deal okay. with them. Just above. Please, get those millennial ass wipes. With pleasure. Don't no, mind if I do, bro. So what I should do here is slow down. You kill Rocco. You wait for this guy to get out. Kill him too. That's it. The mission is complete, guys. you were a tough guy. How you like me now? Yeah, how you like me now, bitches? Come in. Hello. Come in. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Damn. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. Woohoo! Mission complete, as you can see. Very easy, very quick. And do you want a whole episode of this, guys? Just this in one episode? You can, of course, do this even faster if you want to. You don't have to use a sniper. You can use something else. Or you can even chase the guys with a car. And afterwards, you have to get back to the studio after you kill them. And that's it. Let's do the next one, too. And welcome, guys, to one of the most boring missions in the game. Maybe the third most boring mission because it has a spookometer. Yes, it's a spookometer mission. Technically, not a spookometer mission, but you have to tell somebody. And you have 100% gold requirements, and they are check all license plates. You have to follow the janitor without being spotted. And you have to complete the mission in 9 minutes. And yes, you can't do that if you watch all the cutscenes. So, after I complete the mission once, I have to replay it again to skip all the cutscenes and get the requirement, which is so stupid. I hate these requirements because I have to show you the mission twice. So, I guess let's start the mission and I'll do it twice. First of all, watch all the cutscenes and the next time I'll go for 100%. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet, so... So you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, fucking Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Obviously. Anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. I can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, why, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government corruption. Yeah, and if you don't? We're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning 
my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. <laughs> of course! I'm a man of my word! This smug okay, asshole. Let's go. Look at his smile, I hate him! Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen! Okay, ladies. Fuck you. Oh, it's raining, nice. So this mission is extremely easy, guys. Take us to the FIB building, parking lot entrance. Don't worry, bro, I have it covered. So let's listen to the dialogue. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? I'm not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. The janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go or they ask for a day off. So we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. OK. You're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. Found a guy about to clock off. File here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. We will follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. 722. So look for 722. It's either the fourth car or the fifth here car. Here we are. Let's wait for him. And this is all you do, guys, in this ep in this mission. You just stay here, don't move, and watch people get out. And then you have to follow these guys. Something's coming. Nope, it's not gonna be the first one. Nope. So, what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds good. Not. <laughs> but yeah, this is all you do, guys. You watch cars get out and you follow cars. That's afterwards. it? Nope, it's not, of course. Uh, not our guy. So, what do we do? Now what can we do? We do the job. Then maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Indeed you do. Let's get some more cars. Or watch some more cars. This is not the car. Ooh, what's this? It's not the car, dude. That's not it. Of course it's, it's not. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Yeah, this time we don't have to rob a bank. But we do have to pull this heist. It's technically not a heist. Yeah, this is the car. That's the one. I got lucky. Whee! You know the drill. A couple of car lengths. Like I said, it could be this car or the next car. I got pretty lucky this time, which is awesome. What's gonna happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Breaky, breaky. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Making me follow you. Oi. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's <laughs> yeah. work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car <laughs> behind that one and between these white lines. For my own peace of mind, can we get a little closer to him? Yeah, 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 I was That's doing it. this. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. What else can I say, guys? Just follow the guy. I just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Woo, 
we have the budget, we don't have to rob more banks. Yay! We're safe. You're not <laughs> yeah, he looked at me. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation. And maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Are you gonna cooperate? <laughs> I didn't see me do this. Hey, you, dude, you right? can also honk. We're trying to blend in back here, Michael. We'll know it when we fucked up. <laughs> hey, beautiful. How you doing? I love doing this. Ah, stupid mission is stupid. I hate spook commuter missions, even though this is He's gone left there. Not. See? I see. It's not a spook commuter mission, but you have to tell somebody, like a uh, usual spook commuter mission in the previous GTA games. He's pulling up. Park down the block. Got it, boss. Park over here, get out, and follow him. We can go in front of him too, to save some time, or you can do this. Hey Marilyn. Hello. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Jesus. Dude, I heard you, but she, she definitely heard you because she was in front of me. She was close to you, so she heard you. So, yeah, lower your voice next time. <laughs> so yeah, I basically follow this guy to his apartment. Is this called an apartment? Sure, why not? And you take his clothes. That's it. Let's get up and say hello. Hello. You got another one of those, Harvey. Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. I'll take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Such an understanding dude. I like him a lot. So, what you do here is guess what? You gotta go to the garment factory. That's it, guys! This is just for the mission. <laughs> it's so stupid. This is just a preparation for a future big mission. Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. And we have some more dialogue. Now, let's listen to it. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. Hey, what information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is LS based, so I thought Frank could tail him, take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much. Government contracts, license to steal. What the fuck, dude? Seriously? Oh my fucking god! And no, I'm just taking the wrong contracts. As you were saying, that's it. I was at the end, and that asshole took me out. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, ah, he's already here. Let's get up here. And talk to Frankly Boy. Let's see, is he gonna wear the clothes I picked for him, or did he again switch clothes? Da -da -da -da, he switched clothes, asshole. Yeah. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes, or it's Trevor, or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building. A weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere, so I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip 
Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. And the mission is complete. Of course, I did not get a gold, as you can see. 12 minutes, I can uh, I can shave off 3 minutes if I skip our cutscenes. So after this mission, if you switch to Franklin, he's gonna uh, tell the guy, you're gonna see that he is gonna be able to tell the guy, but first you gotta get a text message from him that he found the guy he has to tell. And here we go my peeps, the 100% attempt. This is super quick. If you skip our cutscenes, you can do it in like 7 minutes if you get lucky, of course. You have to get lucky with these cars. It could be the 5th car like it happened here. For me, I was not lucky with this part because it was the 5th car, not the 4th car. And also afterwards, you have to get lucky with the, the lights. They could all be red. They could be a short red. They could be a long red. A long red is just when... He approaches the light, it could turn red, and you have to wait a lot. It could have been red beforehand, and he could have arrived afterwards. That's a short red. Or it could all be, be green. In my case, the majority were green. I think one was red, this one was the only red one, so I got pretty lucky with that, but I did not get lucky with the cars. Because I had five cars, not four cars. So yeah, I got pretty lucky overall because the majority were green, so that was perfect for me. And of course you could go in front of him and uh, beat him to it, to his apartment. To shorten a little bit more time, but as you can see I was pretty fast anyway, so I did not have to do that. Basically you get back to the garment factory, and that's it. Ultra easy mission, ultra easy episode. To record and to prepare because for some missions I have to prepare for hours, even days. But for this episode I took only a, a couple hours, but at least I show you two missions. But anyway, as you can see, the mission is complete in less than seven minutes. After this one, you unlock a mission at your safe house, Michael's safe house, which involves your family. So the next mission is actually pretty interesting. I like the next mission, even though it's still easy. I still like it, because there's some character development. And we don't have to see Steve Haynes in the next episode, whew, finally. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Before I go, I wanna thank my lovely Patreon supporters, Austin Data, House the Chowder, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson, and everyone else listed on the screen. Thank you so much for the support.